Well, welcome back to the shop. My name is John, and today we are working on the shop 50 ton press. This press is to replace my red press, which I absolutely hate. So I've already done some work to this. But you didn't miss much. All I've done is machine this pin that is holding the cylinder in right now and struggle to put this cylinder inside, which I will now show you a reenactment of. <laughs> So I've always loved this press. It came from a previous workplace of mine where I actually learned most of my skill with work with metal. So they called me a few months ago and asked me if I wanted the frame because they were building a new press. So I got pretty excited, ran down there and uh, loaded it up. This cylinder was not in it and there's obviously no electronics, no hydraulics on this thing at all. So the guys who built this press did a really good job on it and they put some clever features into it. So I wanna show a couple of them to you. This hand crank brings the table up and down, makes really easy work of it because that table is much heavier than it may look like in these videos. These dollies help move the press around, which is really convenient, you know, just to move it back from the wall. They work on a, a cam setup, so you just slide it in and press them down and it lifts the, it lifts the weight of the press up. Very cool. And I'm very sad about this one because we have to get rid of it to work with my setup here, but this is the handle that was connected to their spool valve, which brought the cylinder up and down. But what's cool is they attach it to this linkage and it goes through to a set of pedals and that allows you to hands-free bring the cylinder up and down. Super nice feature because usually using a press is a, like a weird three-hand job. So because this press has quite a few repairs on this joint specifically right here where this is bent to make this A-shape, uh, we're going to put larger fish plates on here that will substantially increase the, uh, the strength of this joint. We're also going to replace the cable at the back, which is used for uh, bringing the table up and down. And that looks frayed and uh, just in haggard shape. To power the cylinder, we're using a hydraulic power pack. It's what I have here. The tank has enough volume, so I think it'll work perfectly. Let's get started. This is the stabilizer plate that we're going to bolt into place. And uh, basically it's just to keep the cylinder from moving left and right on that pivot point. So this is cut uh, 
pretty well. It, it captures it fairly tight, but there is about a sixteenth of an inch play in here. And all I need to do to get rid of that is just sand away some of the faces. So as I bring them together, they clamp a little bit further. Looks right. So this is the front.
Okay, with the power pack mounted, that is everything that we need to do as far as adding things and modifying the press. So now all we really have left is to run the lines to the controller and the controller to the pump, wire it up, and then we'll be good to go. I think after that, we'll probably give it a paint job and just make it look nice once we know it works, so. Anyways, this has been fun fab to work on. So good getting the shop press working. Uh, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one.